Welcome to Cognito Forms. I'm Nadia, and in this video, we're going to walk through the basics of building your first form. Cognito Forms is an easy to use online form builder that allows you to quickly create powerful forms for your website. You can build any form you want, including contact forms, registration forms, order forms, and much more in just a few minutes. To get started, you'll need to sign up for an account. When you sign up, be sure to take advantage of the 14-day free trial available on all of our paid plan levels. Then, just fill in your details and hit the sign up button. If necessary, you can change this information later. Next, fill in your billing information. Or, if you choose not to sign up for a trial, you can just stay on our free individual plan. Once you log in, you'll land on the form's homepage. After you've built some forms, you'll be able to view and organize all of them here. To build your first form, select the New Form button in the top left corner. At this point, you have three options. You can build your form from scratch, you can choose a pre-built template, or you can copy a form that you've already built. In this case, we'll start from scratch. For this example, we're going to build a very simple contact form. When you create a new form, the first thing you'll want to do is give your form a title. This title appears at the top of your form, as well as in the form URL. If you want, you can also add a short description that appears under the title. Underneath the title and description, you'll notice an empty placeholder on the form. Clicking the placeholder will open the Add field menu. This is a list of all the field types you can add to your form. The field types you use will depend on the type of information you want to collect. For our contact form, we'll definitely need some basic personal information, so I'm going to add a name field at the top. When you add a field to your form, the Field Settings menu appears on the left. This is where you can edit or hide the field label, add help text underneath the field, decide when the field should appear or be required, or display a custom error message. Other fields will have similar options in their field settings, but they may differ depending on the field. For example, the name field settings allows me to optionally include input like title or middle initial, while the phone field settings allow you to set the phone number validation to US or international. Next, I'm going to add an email field as well as an address field. Using the drag and drop builder, I can easily resize or move fields around as needed. At the bottom of the form, I'm going to include two different size text box fields one for the contact to include their company name, and another for any comments or questions. To do this, I'm just going to add one text box field, and then copy it to make another. At the bottom of the builder, you can click the preview button to check out a preview of your form. Next, let's go to the form submission settings. Basically, the submission settings allow you to control what happens when someone submits your form. This is where you can edit the confirmation message, aka the thank you page, as well as set up email notifications and confirmations. Email notifications allow you to be notified via email whenever a new form is submitted, while confirmations are sent to the people who submit your form. Finally, to finish up our form, I'm going to set some of the fields as required to make sure that we get all the information we need from our contacts. Setting a field as required means that a user has to fill it in before they can submit the form. When you're finished editing your form, be sure to hit the Save button. 
Now we're ready to style and publish. From the Publish tab, you can use the Style Editor to customize the look and feel of your form. You can edit the form header, add a logo, change font types and colors, add a background image, and much more. Again, be sure to save your changes when you're done styling. Now that your form is ready to go, you have a couple of different options when it comes to sharing it. You can copy one of the form embed codes to embed your form directly into your website, or you can simply copy a direct link to the form. The direct link is useful when emailing your form or if you would just prefer not to embed it. You can also share your form on social media by clicking one of these buttons. To test out our form, I'm just going to grab the direct link and fill it out as a regular user would. Once I hit submit, the form data is captured by Cognita Forms and I'll see the custom confirmation message that we included in the form submission settings. Plus, if you enable email notifications or confirmations, those emails will send out now. To take a look at the form we just submitted, we're going to go back to Cognito Forms and select Entries. From here, you can view and manage all of your collected form data. You can edit entries, download them to Excel, save them as PDFs, and much more. And that's pretty much it. If you want to learn more about Cognito Forms, be sure to check out our help site or get in touch with us. Thanks for using Cognito Forms.